Hey what is going on everyone, welcome back to another Clash Royale video and in today's video we are going to be doing the heal spell challenge yet again. So this is really part 2 of the part 1 that I made a little while back and I'd just like to say I am really sorry that I released this video so late. It's because there were some recent events that I wanted to cover really early and I am pretty sure you all would have enjoyed those if you haven't already. Please do check them out, I worked really hard on those videos, especially the double elixir draft challenge video. I gave some pretty decent tips I guess on drafting in general and how to cope with double elixir as well. And also I also did a deck guide the other day on this really weird hog rider deck that I came up with for the wizard challenge. There are no legendary cards in it, I know it's really weird, it even has like the tesla and stuff. But trust me guys, I use that really well. And I'm pretty sure if you just want at least a deck to just throw some friends maybe at least or consider pushing with at least just to arena 8. I'm not sure how it will really do in arena 9 and up but trust me in the hands of a skill player any deck can really work and if you would just look at this matchup here right now I am fighting Dimitris23 and he has Golem, Balloon, Heal, Rocket, Electro Wizard, Ice Wizard, Skeleton Army and Archers. Now, my deck, I just have some really really cheap air defenses, trust me. I have the Dot Goblin, I got Ice Spirit and Spare Goblins. That's it guys. That's that's my that's all of my air defense really right there. And I do not include the fireball in this. Spells don't really count as air defenses in my opinion, because they're just like one time use. Air defense really is more of something that can remain down on the ground a little while longer, or any defense really. I mean the Ice Spirit is a one time use thing too but you can just keep him around a little bit until he hits what you want. So yeah, I was trying to pull off a really nasty combo there and that is Ice Spirit and Dart Goblin. If Ice Spirit connects to the tower before the Dart Goblin dies, trust me guys, that is going to be a lot of damage on the tower done. Like almost a thousand if not more. It is really nasty and you do not want to be broke on Elixir if your opponent has those cards in rotation. So I'd advise keeping log handy or something to soak up the ice spirit, anything really works. And look at this, my opponent here, he drops the heal spell on the balloon, I knew he had it really, and I see that the balloon is sticking out on the left, so that's how I decided to really just put all my air defenses on the left side of the arena rather than the right side because if I did, they would have been closer to the golem and they would have just not killed the balloon and that'd just be ripped tower. so yeah. Watch for troop placements, watch where troops are heading, etc. And you'll just find yourself being able to defend a little bit better, if not perfectly. But it is usually just a little bit better guys, so don't get your hopes up. And yeah, remember to play carefully. Anyways, he has this golem push coming in. He's got archers behind it, he's gonna drop a balloon any second now. There it is. And what do I have to do here? I drop the bomb tower again. It has good HP. It has good damage but it cannot hit air so you really want to be mindful of that. He even dropped the rocket on it but thankfully the DPS output of the minions, dark goblins, spear goblins, all that overcommitment there on defense but it was really necessary. It helped take down the balloon just before it managed to get to the tower. That was really welcomed by me and good defense overall. I hope you all really pay attention to the fact that my air defense is just really fragile and <laughs> It actually is not as easy as it looks to defend this here. So this time I managed to get the Ice Spirit Dark Goblin to the tower but unfortunately what I needed to do was have the Ice Spirit go first so that it would make it to the tower and then the Dark Goblin would just get to go to town but we failed it anyways. But I just wanted to get the point across for you all to just really know what to do and how to do it. Anyways we finally make use of the fireball there. I know he has the heal incoming. Thankfully we managed to clip the balloon and the damage output again it is just really lovely here stomping that balloon before it gets to the tower. Sadly death damage it sucks, gotta live with it. But I take this chance to just 
Fireball, his Electro Wizard, and the Tower. That is value there. For those of you in much lower arenas, what you want to be doing with your spells is getting value with them. And what I mean by that is you either use them on defense to just... Uh, how to say this? You, you use them on defense, like let's say your opponent drops a Musketeer and some Archers maybe. That is 7 Elixir there roughly and you have a Fireball in hand. And let's say you magically just get that Fireball to hit the tower and all of those troops. That is what I mean by value guys. You hit a lot more expensive things and get them out of the way or severely damage them. And if you can hit the tower, that is just that is just a cherry on top guys. That is what you want to do with your spells. So do not waste your spells over committing on a push or defense. Make sure you hit a lot of targets with it and that your opponent has spent more elixir than you did. And what I'm doing now, you see I just threw a straight fireball like a straight up noob just at the tower. I did that just because I wanted to start chipping his tower and the ice wizard did not drop until before. And yeah, look at this. The dart goblins and stuff, they just managed to take down the tower there just before the rocket lands because I had to rush. If I did not rush, I was screwed. The rocket does like almost 500 damage at tournament standard. So it is severe chip damage if your opponent is just starting to cycle rockets. Anyways guys, I hope you all could understand the play-by-play -play there that I just did and the reasoning behind my moves. Anyways, we are fighting Ashley now from Aussie. And Ashley here, she was my first matchup on the whole for the entire match. And yeah, this is the actual video that I meant to really say that you can take archers, or what am I saying, the princess and the dart goblin to really bait logs. A Ashley has the baby dragon, lumberjack, fire spirits, and the log, so she can have a few ways to just get that lumberjack onto my tower. Flannel man, he is, he's really strong. Trust me guys, if a, if a flannel man gets to your tower, he's going to tear it up and mm -mm, you ain't gonna like that, trust me. The bowler, it is a great card as well and I was really thankful I was able to choose it. Bowler does great in most events really and even on ladder. My only disappointing expression for this bowler really is the fact that he does not hit air like the executioner but trust me his knockback his knockback is really great guys if you do not use bowler consider trying it and look at this he had so much hp there he even covered for the dot goblin like soak up one of the extra fire spirits and the dot goblin just went to town there on defense so well what am i saying on offense i am mixing up my words today guys uh, I hope you all can forgive me for that. I'm trying my best to just make this video as soon as I can and I don't really have that much sp Oh my god, I'm doing it again. Sorry guys, if, if you just want to make fun of me, just comment it down below in the comments. I am just not myself today and I am just really stuttering a lot. I will try my best to improve the commentary again in the future, but just forgive me for this little instance in this video today. Anyways. He has the log in rotation and he's going to log everything away. Sorry, she is going to log everything away. But the Mega Minion and Miner, they connect with the tower. And once again, we have Flannel Man incoming onto my side of the arena. Ola is going to shut down all of that jazz really nicely. And we are ready for the counter push again. As it seems right now, Bola is just going to be the bane of existence really. And the Dart Goblins back up in rotation there to just quickly snipe away at the baby dragon. I'm just going to drop this mega minion there to try to soak up some damage from the baby dragon if it was able to get to the dart goblin but thankfully the baby dragon drops dead really quickly and Ashley is really frustrated at this point because you can see she's starting to chip with log and I'm assuming she's going to just start rocketing so I am gearing up and getting ready to go straight for the other lane because I know that tower is really low on HP and I can just chip it away with the fireball or something like that. So yeah, that's what you gotta do guys. Switch lanes once you see your opponent has their tower really low on HP and you can chip it away with a miner or just kill the entire damn thing with a rocket or a fireball or something like that. Trust me guys, it really does pay off a lot when you can afford to do that. and. Overall, it just lets you get ready to move on to the next tower and in, even if your opponent does take the tower before the match ends, you are going to win 
and <laughs> it just helps you win even harder when you do so hope you all would just consider trying that in the future and overall do not wake up your opponent's king towers like just by taking the crown tower down just when the tower is low on HP wait for when you really need it if it's one spell away and it's a really cheap spell you can afford to leave it if not well go for it man just go for it anyways we are fighting this guy here I really can't say his name but I'm just gonna give him a super OP deck really and I could not give him the poison because if I did that would just wreck me 100% no trying <laughs> he would just win straight up as soon as we started so this is another one of those matches where I just I just don't have a deck really I just have a few cheap cards really that are alright on the fence but nothing really special to actually push with also I apologize for the lag in that last battle there I could not for some reason just get the recorder to just do everything right it is a recurring problem but at least it does not happen every single time but when it does it really annoys me so just bear with me guys I am trying my best here really I am so I dropped this goblin well these goblins really on defense I was almost gonna say goblin gang but nah look at this guys this one minion survives there and look what I do I heal up the minion there just to buy time for the goblins to walk up there and get a few jabs on the tower even though he drops the ice bird and I think it's safe to say that was really well played if I do say so myself and that little troll there it really really paid off because it helped me catch up on some damage and just get the lead overall however I don't think I'd be able to do that much but when I did that that was actually before Orange Juice really announced that you could heal up a minion horde or before Nick at Night actually did it but you know me I was just busy and bad poison there guys bad poison is bad oh my god I was just really horrible I was trying to aim for the witch hoping she'd stop by a little bit longer oh well anyways I am going to defend this graveyard again now with the minion horde seeing as he does not have enough elixir for the fireball and he just can't really get to his fire spirits in time so I know he is going to drop the fire spirits but I was not sure if to really drop the zap or not I was kind of hoping he used the ice spirit and then I get to heal them up again but he's smarter than that now that he knows I know how to really exploit the heal spell so yeah um, I think I can say his name now it's Warmageddon uh, correct me if I'm wrong there folks and I think it's about time to just reveal that inferno dragon there and we are going to go take down that giant skeleton there and lose all our spear goblins and our musketeer so I am going to just heal up this inferno dragon here and he has to fireball it on top of that just to make sure it dies because heal and inferno dragon that is a nasty combo guys nasty trust me so if he had the poison instead of the lightning that I gave him trust me he'd have just poison graveyard and that'll, that, that'll be all he needs to win the game really but I'm doing the best I can here without any actual push and I am getting to the tower the inferno dragon just about dead really but what you gonna do right anyways we poison again this time we managed to keep the witch in it and that one goblin manages to keep the witch long enough so that she just pops in the poison which is really nice and we are getting ready again to just clean up that entire graveyard with the minion horde and look at this I healed the musketeer knowing that he would not have really done much with it but beautiful fireball by Warmageddon I can't say that was not well played it really was and we just really need to poison this game out and that's just gonna be about it but stay safe guys if even if you are in the lead like really really in the lead do not drop your guard at all it it does not pay off like that but yeah goblins are great for defending the graveyard even if it's not the entire gang they work out pretty well overall so let's just take a little look at some of the bloopers that would have happened throughout this video shut the fuck up stop being a fucking cunt shut the fuck up nobody Alrighty folks, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed what you saw and if you did, remember to leave a like before you leave. 
Also, I am doing a Q&A at 300 subscribers coming up really really soon, so if you got any questions to ask me, do so on the Hognado deck guide that I uploaded last time. Also guys, one other note, if you can, share these videos with a friend or some family, anyone that you think would enjoy these type of videos that I put out. Remember guys, if you keep digging, you'll eventually strike gold, and if you keep on digging deeper, you'll eventually come across something even better. So that's going to be it for today folks. Thanks once again for stopping by and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out guys.